But it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we're taking a look at V-Colors Prism Pro RGB SCC kit. Something a little bit different and with a very unique feature. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we're taking a look at the V-Color Prism Pro RGB SCC kit. So this is a 32 gig kit. This was sent to us free of charge for review purposes from V-Color themselves. I actually reached out to them for a actually a piece of RAM for my laptop, but they said at the same time, would you like to check out our new SCC kit? Of course, more than happy to. Really like to use V-Color products where I can. They do come with a limited lifetime warranty, which I appreciate. And also they do appear to be extremely stable in all the systems that I use it in. So what more could you ask for? Well, there's a few things I would like to ask for, and that is it to be cheaper and brighter and also have some unique features. And well, they seem to have ticked all of those boxes. Prices around the world at the moment do seem to be coming down, especially for V-Color themselves. I'll put some links in the video description so you can go directly to their site, that's vcolor.net. They've actually got some really good offers on all types of RAM at the moment, so if you want to check out, please feel free to do so. But if you want to shop elsewhere, there'll be some Amazon affiliated links also. So starting off, who are V-Color? You've possibly not heard of them before, and um, yeah, there's quite a lot of you that haven't. I've been using them now for probably about three or four years, and I find them to be very good. Taiwanese-based company using really good quality RAM. They've got robots, which basically select the best of the chips for certain types of RAM. So if you're looking at some high-end Skywalker stuff, then they're going to have some really highly specified RAM modules from SK Hynix and other brands, all of which are put together, then hand-assembled, all that kind of good stuff, and distributed across the world. They do some very, very nice products. And what I like about it the most is the RGB light diffuser, which is a bit of a weird thing to say, but they do look particularly nice. And with the new SCC kits, which actually include a dummy set of RAM, you can have all four sticks of your RAM slots all populated and all looking great. Now this is really good if you're using other RGB software, such as things like Signal RGB or maybe Open RGB, you can configure it to have some really spectacular looking RGB setups. Also something which is actually really unique and I've not seen before is the fact that you can actually customize your RAM. And when I actually asked for the review samples, they said, uh, can you send us a logo? Well, what is that for? So they can actually put things on the RAM stick. So one of the RAM sticks, they will engrave free of charge. So you can put in your name, uh, a logo, all that kind of good stuff, as you're probably seeing from some close-ups on the RAM sticks I've already got, which has got the Mike's unboxing logo on, which pleases me immensely. Anyway, with that said, let's go through, we'll do the unboxing, see what we actually get, and later on we'll be taking a look at some performance figures. Now, I should say straight away, depending on the RAM that you purchase, uh, this is a 4266 MHz kit, so clearly there are going to be some limitations motherboard-wise, but don't worry, V-Color have got you covered. They do sets with 3200, 3600, 4000, 4266, and basically everything all in between as well, depending on which version you go for. Again, check out the links in the video description, you'll see exactly what is available. But yeah, there's basically everything from kind of 600 megahertz all the way up to 5000 megahertz and above. They are going to be doing DDR5 coming shortly as well, so definitely stay tuned for some reviews on that when it comes out. But like I said, today's is a 4266 megahertz kit. So this is actually designed really to be going with the Z690 chipset from Intel. Although obviously if you want to, you can use it on AMD AM4 platform which is what I'm actually gonna be using on today and is what I use in my video editing rig. Now clearly there's gonna be some problems with the Infinity Fabric for various AMD processors, which is why really this does work much better with Intel setups if you possibly can, because you can just in the unlock processors, change your frequencies and Bob's your uncle. Whereas with AMD, things are a little bit more tricky. You have to mess around with things like Infinity Fabrics and that kind of stuff. But if you don't want to, don't worry, V-Color got you covered. These RAM sticks actually come with two baked in XMP profiles. So this particular one has an XMP profile of 4,000 mega transfers and also 4,266 mega transfers. So inside the box, you get two other boxes, one of which has DRAM, which I think is this one. And also you get your RGB dummy kit, which is this one. So effectively in terms of looks, they look identical. The only difference being is one of them actually has RAM chips in, the other one doesn't, and it's just designed to fulfill the needs of those RGB delights, which you might want to put inside your PC case. So you can, again, like I said, get some really spectacular RGB looks, which you're probably seeing already for some footage I took a little bit earlier. So first of all, let's take a look at the RGB dummy kit. So again, these are pretty much identical to the DRAM versions. 
And as you can see, they come in various colors, although the one we've got here is a black color. So there's a silver, a black, and also a gold. I should say as well, if you go for the gold version, unfortunately, they're not able to actually put the uh, the printing on there. So if you do want to have custom logos or something put on there, the gold ones aren't part of that system, so you can't do that. But if you go for the black or the silver, uh, potentially there might even be a white version coming out as well, so you can use it. And I think they actually look really nice. I do love the fact that they've got this nice diffuser on the top with a kind of uh, triangular setup on there. And also you've got the V color logo on there as well. When they're actually installed in the system, they do look amazing. They really and truly do. And you'll probably notice that I've actually got some in the PC behind me as well. Also, I really do like using these RAM sticks. Now I should say when it comes to RGB lighting, like I said, you can use it in things like Signal RGB as that is what I actually use it with. But when it comes to the actual RGB effects, don't worry if you don't want to use Signal RGB or one of those other third party ones, it does have first party support with Asus Aurora Sync, Gigabyte's RGB Fusion 2.0, MSI's Mystic Light Sync, Azrox Polychrome Sync, and also Biostar's ARGB Sync. So no matter which you're using, you're going to be absolutely fine and you can synchronize the lights into your heart's content with your motherboard, your RAM, and all those other components if you want to. Or if you want to, just put them in and they will go into the kind of unicorn puke mode straight away, which still looks absolutely lovely. You do have 16 addressable RGBs on the RAM. So again, you can choose to have various different lighting patterns, options, colors, fades, all that kind of stuff. And the diffuser itself does a really good job. You can't really count how many RGBs are in there. It just does a really nice smooth transition from one color to the next. So next up, we'll take a look at the actual RAM sticks themselves. So these are the DDR4 4266 mega transfers or megahertz, however you want to uh, call it. There you go. There is the Mike's unboxing logo. So again, you can have these printed with your name, um, maybe a racing team or whatever you want, just have it on there. Up to about 12 characters, I believe it is, or you can get in touch with them directly and get send them a logo, all that kind of good stuff. Again, all of that is on their website. If you order them directly from other places, such as Amazon and third-party vendors, obviously, because it's not coming directly from the factory, then you will not be able to do that. But if you do get them directly from V-Color, then of course, you can contact them and have whatever you like printed on there within reason. So like I said, these are DDR4 4266 mega transfers, uh, relatively low CAS latency as well. So if you're using it in the DDR4 4266 mode, you're looking at CL19. Okay, I'll put the rest of the specs on the screen now. If you want to, you can use it in XMP mode two, which then will drop it down to 4,000 mega transfers or megahertz. Now these actually run at 1.45 volts. So technically you can squeeze a little bit more out of them should you wish to. Now, of course, if you want to, play with your Infinity Fabrics and all that kind of stuff. Manually in your motherboard, you can do, but alternatively, hit XMP and they run absolutely fine. As the comparison in my system, I was using a different branded 32 gig kit. And in testing, I did find that the V cutter was actually out ahead. There was a little bit of a drop off in latency because we're out of sync with our Infinity Fabric. But in terms of overall system performance, it was improvement overall and the memory itself was somewhere in the region of about 10% faster. Now also I should mention as well, if you don't want the SCC kit, you just want two sticks of RAM, you don't want the extra uh, dummy kit, then you can do that as well. Various different options available, like I said, starting off at around about DDR4 3200, all the way up to 5,000 mega transfers if you want to. There's various models, RGB Pro, there is the Prism kits, Skywalker kits, etc., etc. And don't forget as well, it's not just this sort of RGB DRAM. You can also get things like server RAM, you can get RAM for your Apple products, and also SSDs as well. So definitely check them out, well worth doing. I really like this stuff, I genuinely do. I think it looks absolutely amazing. The fireplace setup actually in Signal RGB really does look stunning in this. And for those of you that may be slightly epileptic sensitive, then uh, here is the police setup. So you can see the strobing there, it is uh, pretty insane. But again, the only limit really with these is how much you wanna tinker with them and also your own creativity in your RGB software. When it comes to pricing, of course, because this is available kind of globally, your prices will differ depending on where you get it from, but realistically, they're very competitive, and also the fact that you do get the option for potentially engraving the RAM, and also that for fill kit to spice out those extra slots of yours. Yeah, I think it's definitely worth looking at. So thanks again to Vcolor for sending this out to us for review purposes. Very much appreciate it, and definitely looking forward to those DDR5 sticks in the coming future. 
If you've got any comments or questions, you know where to stick them in the comments section below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.